This video is being recorded in October 2022 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. I'll be covering how to create a vector tile package base map from a GAC-wide vector tile layer using ArcGIS Pro version 2.9.4. Vector tile layers and vector tile packages are available in the NIFSI ArcGIS online org for each Geographic Area Coordination Center, or GAC. I'm going to demonstrate how to download a subset of a GAC-wide vector tile layer as a vector tile package for use in field maps, ArcGIS Pro, and ArcGIS Online web maps and applications. In the NIFSI ArcGIS Online org in the Groups section, search for the Data Layers National Incident Base Data Group. Filter the group's content to your GAC and add the tile layer for the current year to your favorites. In a blank ArcGIS Pro project, make sure you're signed in to the NIFSI org and add your GeoOps incident directory structure as a folder connection. I have one set up already for the demo. Make your incident directory structure your default folder. Add a new map to the project. In the catalog pane, navigate to your portal favorites, and add the base map tile layer that you just favorited in the NIFSI org to your map. Then remove the Esri base map. Add the GISS edit service to the map. I have it in my favorites as well. And zoom to the area of your incident. Keep in mind that users of the base map, such as firefighters on the line, logistical personnel, and other overhead support are going to need to see travel routes to the fire from places such as ICP and spike camps. I like being on the safe side and bumping out my extent to a little more than I think I'll need in the event of fire growth. What you see in your map extent is going to be the extent downloaded in your vector tile package base map. When you're satisfied with the extent of the data displayed in the map, remove the GISS edit service from the map. Before downloading the vector tile package, check your Pro options to make sure in the Share and Download settings that you want Pro to ask you where to save any offline maps before downloading. We're doing this so that the base map is filed appropriately in the GeoOps Incident Directory structure. Click the Download Map button from the offline section of the map ribbon and check the box to include base map and tile layers. Click download and navigate to the base maps folder of your GeoOps incident directory structure and click OK. Pro will name the vector tile package for you and will add it to your map by default. As I zoom out you can see that the vector tile layer has been clipped to the map extent I had when I downloaded the map. Check out the VTPK and File Explorer and note that the file size is only 51 megabytes, which is easily transferable to a mobile device and shareable between devices. Thanks for watching.